Now that Sephora's spring VIB sale is over, I'm gonna share with you everything I picked out. Some I've already have been using for a little bit and I'm impressed and others, I'll go ahead and give you my first impression right now. First up is Shiseido's Facial Cotton. These were all on my recommendations list, that video I already had posted. And what I do is I pick out three packs and that lasts me all the way up until Sephora's November sale. Then the fall sale comes, I pick up three more packs and then it just goes all the way until the following year in April. So that's how I do that. Good time to stock up. I also recommended to pick out Sephora's brush tip lash adhesive if you do wear uh, false lashes. So I picked out my dark tone and I picked out the clear one. I already wear the clear one. First time using the dark tone, haven't used it yet, but I definitely can vouch that this is a glue that holds your lashes all day. I don't have any eye irritation. For $7, that's before the discount, you can't beat it. From Pat McGrath Labs, I picked out the Mini Less Gloss. This is the Skin Show in the Warm Edition. There's also a cool version, but I knew that. Let me go ahead and pick out the one that I feel I'm going to wear the most out of. So I can wear these by themselves, or I can just put them on top of other lipsticks. I'm just gonna swatch them on my hand real quick to show you. They do run light, medium, and deep. So you have something for, I would say, a lot of different lipsticks out there. I would say the gloss is also like semi thick thin something right in that happy medium so it's not too sticky which I don't mind but then it's also not so thin it also is not very sheer I would say it has a lot more opacity to it which is also something I appreciate I want to see some color on my lips or again put it on top of a lipstick on the last day of the sale I picked out milk makeups hydro grip primer now this is actually their smaller version it is what is the size here it is, where is it on the box? It is 10 milliliters, so it's almost close to one fluid ounce. I am comparing the Milk Makeup's Grip Primer to Cover Up X's Grip Primer. I know that those two are like the hottest neck and neck on the market, so I, I did shoot some footage of one side is the milk, the other side is the Cover Up X. Went around all day, went out to lunch with my girlfriend, asked her, staring in the mirror, at the end of the day, looked in the mirror, saw the foundation difference, a clear foundation difference, and I'm like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to uh, talk about it. I also noticed on Sephora's website during the sale that the Marc Jacobs Le Marc liquid lip creams were on sale. However, they were flying out the door on the website. So I already have this one in hot cocoa. I also had mentioned that I would just pay full price for these because they are that perfect liquid lipstick that I appreciate. It's that hybrid of a lipstick, a little bit of gloss, and then I have the staying power, the, the wear, not transferring, uh, feathering everywhere of a liquid lipstick. Amazing formula and I'm very impressed. So I just picked one up. I think it was like $14. This one that I picked up is called Shush, shush, blush. Now those are the only two shades, hot cocoa and this shade, in which I felt the shades would go good, complement my skin tone. There it is right there. The other ones were much too light, so I didn't care about those. I also picked up Sephora Favorite Summer Sun on the Sky. No. What is this called? Sephora Favorite Summer Sun on the Fly. This is one of those um, sun kits that comes out every year from Sephora. Now last year they had the larger bag, which is what I also wanted. This time I picked out the smaller one because I didn't like the, the big bag samples and there was no full size of a product. Now this one was only $25. There is also a full size of a tanning drops. I have no business, I don't need any of that. So I went ahead and gave that to a fairer skin friend. I took the smaller bag and it fits right inside so I can put some additional products in there. And everything zips up. I'm good to go. Everything for a full face is in here. For 2020, I hope the bag's even smaller. I'm one of those people that likes a bag inside a bag inside a bag and then go smaller. I'm one of those people, yeah, annoying people. So we'll see for next year. I did pick out three brushes. When I see Sephora's Pro brushes on sale on the website or in the store, 
that's the time to pick it up because they're like 50% off and their brushes are very good. So I picked out three of them here. They have that wooden handle, the words here. I mean, they take forever. My other ones that I already use, I, there's nothing. Nothing is coming off from the, the verbiage here. So they really do hold their, um, their shape and so forth. The hairs, that is, the ferrule, easy to clean, easy to wash. So again, when you can see them on sale, grab them. This depends obviously on what brush. So this one is the shader brush. This is brush number 18. So it's just a flat shader brush, very detailed, which is what I want. This is a very tiny, tiny brush, which is what I want. Get in there, detail, liquids, creams, powders, glitter, where I just really want it to be precise. So I'm very happy I picked that out. I also have the Pro Fan Detail. This is brush number 62. Now this is a larger version of another fan brush that I have from Sephora. So this one is for a lot more precise detail for a highlighter. Again, powder or cream. It's synthetic brushes so you can blend it out on your cheek. And then it's that fan version so that you can disperse it wherever you want it to and you, you know, go on your forehead and down the bridge of your nose. So I do like that. Pick that up. And the last one is the Pro Slanted Buffing Detail. This is brush number 89. Now this one I wasn't like, what do I want you for? Really? <laughs> this is synthetic hairs as well. It's a blend. I can use it to buff out concealer that's further away from the tear duct. So just in this region out here, I can um, precisely buff out and blend foundations or any type of a cream product. So if I wanted to contour with it, I can, or a powder too. And then I can just uh, do my foundation as well. This next product I have not tried yet. So I think it's probably what? Been on the market for about a year. I think it's been about a year. This is Too Faces Born This Way Super Coverage. They're multi-use sculpting concealer. Now I went ahead and picked out this because the new shade expansion is already out um, at Sephora and on Too Faces website, but it's only online. I wanna say it's July when the stores are getting them which is crazy, July. So I said, okay, I'll go ahead and try it out. So this is already talked about this. I noticed this concealer was in a lot of people's recommendation videos, a lot of favorite videos. Now the shade I picked out is Chai. Chai is actually my shade already in the Too Faced Born This Way uh, foundation. So there is the shade right there. And I figured, let me go ahead and get Chai because I'm thinking I can use it spot conceal and kind of you know, spread it around as if it's foundation like the Born This Way. And since it's compact, like it's smaller than the actual foundation bottle, I can just travel with that. I'll go more in detail in uh, a future video, but so far it's something I'm not seeing. I feel what everybody else is seeing or a lot of people that tend to like this. So I'm gonna use it some more and give it a fair shot, but so far, no. The next item is a brand I've never heard of. So I was just looking on the app on the last day, but it intrigued me. This is from the brand Incredible. I believe this is a Korean brand. I believe it is. It says Prime Protect and Set. Very similar to my Smashbox Primer Water or my primer sprays, which I use before any type of makeup application. But it's in a jelly texture. So I'm thinking, is it going to actually come out through the, um, you know, the, the spout here and how is it going to spray? It's also marketed as having the ingredients with the blue light. I believe that's what it states too. That's not actually why I wanted it, but I'm going to let you know why it says that. It says uh, skin protection against aging blue light exposure. So people that live in um, what those conditions would be up in the air. So you have an environmental issues going on where you live. So your air pollution, your quality isn't good. And when you're stepping outside, so think of like, um, like Los Angeles, um, come to mind, I think of like Tokyo, Hong Kong. Yeah, just those places where New York, where the air pollution is just not up to par. So this is what those, and there are sprays like that and um, primers sold usually I see in the Asian market where it's supposed to help protect the skin against those um, environmental concerns. So I'm gonna spray it 
pretty far back that was three spritz. I do see where there's a fine mist on one side and then there's like a little blot area in another. So I do see it coming out in various ways. I only have used this a couple times. I'm still gonna use it and report back in my makeup month video. This next item I have not put down since I bought it. I have not put it down. I have used it each and every time I've done my makeup. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this because I, I, I can't put it down. So I'm gonna be like, how am I gonna use you? Every day, but I gotta think about, okay, I got other sprays too, right? You can't be the only one. This is from Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Mist Ultra Fine Mist. First off, I have no business even getting this because it has a little picture of a watermelon. Now, you know me personally, I hate watermelon since I, since I could even remember. Hate the taste, the smell, if I see a watermelon, I just, I want to peel over. The first time I did spray it in the store on my face, I was like, it hit me, watermelon. And I'm like, nope, walked away. That was a mistake, trying it in the store. Because I noticed when I look in the mirror, I'd go home, my face was looking very glowy. And I was like, oh, that looks, what, what did I use? I go, oh, that's right. I sprayed my face with that watermelon glow. Okay. So then the cell rolls around. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to give this, let me try this. Let me see if the scent is as strong again. So I bought it. And then the second time I used it, it wasn't as strong of a smell. So maybe my nose was like, oh, first initial hit. Every time I use this, every time, I am so impressed with the glow. It, and it, it seems to glow in the right spots, or maybe it's my brain thinking that, but it is so good. I don't care if I use one up in a month, I will happily buy another one the following month. I need to put it down because I'm always reaching for it and no, no, nothing else is going to be used if I don't put it down. So I, I, I've joined the club now. <laughs> if I can stand the fact that it's watermelon, you know it's good. I do have some skincare products that I picked out. I did recommend these. Some might be a little bit like, whoa, you didn't buy it after you said you were in that video. So I thought I would go ahead and explain why. First up is Drunk Elephant. This is the C Firma Day Serum. So it's to firm and brighten. Drunk Elephant's Vitamin C Serum is the only serum, vitamin C wise, in Sephora's entire lineup that's clinically tested and proven to work. It's the medical grade um, vitamin C. So that's why I'm spending the money and investing in that one. I also picked up Pharmacy's Honeymoon Glow. This is the AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. So this is what I use at night. And I, another thing where I was just getting sample after sample from the time period of my skincare routine from fall. So November all the way up to, I would say January when a lot of you were like, your skin looks really good and radiant. Samples of the vitamin C, samples of the Honeyman Glow. I mean, this stuff was working. And I was also using the uh, Ole Hendrickson's Truth Serum. So that whole combination, that cocktail, I feel, was really doing a good job for my skin. However, this is an empty bottle. So I went through two bottles. I just mentioned this in my empties video, so I'm done with it. Now, the reason why I did not buy this, I was going to buy this from the cell, but I backed off because I went ahead and picked out Drunk's Glycolic Night Serum. Now, this is something that I did not get a sample of, you know, during that fall time frame, but I remember getting samples way prior to. My skin works well with glycolic products. Glycolic products, also that acid, will pull down deeper into the skin versus something that is a lactive acid. So why I wanted to use the night serum is, let me go ahead and finish up the Honeymoon Glow. Still using drunk vitamin C during the day. Then when I'm done with the Honeymoon Glow, I will go ahead and use the night serum. So it just falls right into the spot. 
and then fall will probably come around and I can see how my skin is. I don't want to use something that truly is just a product that's a, a brightening product, which is what this product is. It is definitely, I, I see it more on my skin as a brightener. Okay, I feel that that truly is what this product is and that's how I reacted to it. But when I'm thinking about it, I have something again with medical grade product that is clinically proven to work and I'm spending the money. Ole's products, Ole Hendrickson's products are not medical grade and they're not clinically proven. So that that's what I'm thinking. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend my money wise and I'm gonna be investing in this and seeing how I truly react my skin is reacting to drunks products. So that's why I didn't buy another uh, truth serum and I went ahead and picked this out. I don't remember if I mentioned this drunk product again. Look at all this drunk I'm I'm holding up. But I did go ahead and pick this out because you know the sale and I want to again use it up until fall and then I'll see if I pick out another one. But this is the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. Now, I have been using this in my makeup routine. I mix it. I've been mixing it with, I got a sample from Tatcha, their night concentrate cream for um, night cream and I mixed this inside. The Dew Cocktail that emerged emerged with my Fenty foundation, I was like, oh my God, my skin. It felt like a drink of water all day long, all day long. It was so good. And that was a sample of this. So I was like, okay, I like that. And then I've been using it just in my skincare routine. I'm like, okay, I like that. It's just that drink of what, like I can feel it. I can feel it. It's so hydrated too. So I, this is something I like. I can use it with skincare. I can, my everyday routine. I can use it with my makeup with my foundation, especially my foundations that kind of get on my nerves where they're just so like drying too. Not that Fenty's like that. I just wanted to try something different with my Fenty because I always use beliefs. And mm, the cocktail with this was incredible. My last skincare item is from Olay Hendrickson. This is the Glow O2 uh, Dark Spot Toner. So I did pick this out. I wanted to have two bottles, like finish up two bottles of this to see Again, how my skin is going to react. And is this something that is going to replace my my, my Neutrogena, my, my heaven sent pore refining toner that I have not touched, that I know is like questioning why I have not visited the bottle. <laughs> oh my gosh, I miss that. I miss that toner, it's sitting there waiting for me. I'm almost done with my first bottle, so it's gonna be an empty this month actually in May. And then I'll start this. Already, I feel I already know what this toner is already doing for my skin since I've been using it for like, that one would be a month, month and a half, and then it'll be two. So probably one bottle is two months worth. I feel I already know by now, but I'm gonna make it, I'm, I'm gonna be fair and go through two bottles because I feel the Neutrogena deserves that. <laughs> it's been my toner of life. I've used it for so long I can't even remember. I mean, I was a kid. And so I'm like, Neutrogena deserves a good two bottles. Did you pick out anything from my recommendations video? I'll have it down listed in the info box in case you haven't seen it, but I would love to know what you picked out. Let's share because hey, my loves list is always changing and always growing. I'm always shopping. So thank you very much for stopping by and watching everyone. Have a wonderful day or wonderful evening. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next video. I have foundation on my finger for my swatch. Okay. Bye.